friend, and it, it came in a loss. But how encouraged are you with the way Lopez is throwing now? Yeah, that was nice to see him get through six. I was pumped. Uh, kind of almost the same situation as as in Minnesota there with with Sano, uh, with runners on base, and uh, got the fly out to right to to get him through six innings. So really, really pleased with how far he's come and and how much he he's improved and and getting better over the course of the season. Rich Dubroff, go ahead. Was this loss more di more difficult because it was such a well pitched game on your you know by your by your guys and and uh, and Barrios pitched so well? Yeah, I mean it was just a really well pitched game. You know, it was a one one game in the in the tenth. So really happy with with uh, Tanner Scott, Paul Fry, Plucko. Um, you know, kind of put in a tough situation there. Um, you know, give the home run to Polanco hurt, but, you know, Valdez, nice to see him get a scoreless inning, a one, two, three inning there. So uh, those guys in the seventh, eighth, and ninth did a, did a great job. And, uh, we, you know, Barrios is really good. And we saw him last week and he was good then. And they got Rogers and, and Robles there who good, nice backhand relievers. So uh, we just had, we just couldn't score runs today. Nathan Ruiz, go ahead. Brandon, Brandon what'd you make of your guys' at bats in the 10th? Well, I thought Wilkie had a great at bat, Stu, and then Wilkie had a, had a really nice at bat where he didn't chase, and and then uh, I thought made some nice pitches there to to uh, Mountcastle and, and Winnie. Um, you know, obviously we're looking for some contact there, runner third and one out in infield in, and then the first and third, you know, they were anticipating a safety squeeze possibly. That's why Donaldson was holding the runner at third base, which made it hard for Stu to get any kind of much of a, much of a lead there. Um, that, was, that still was in play, possibly if maybe gotten a little bit better count, but 01, 02 right away made it difficult. Uh, but yeah, it was, you know, get, pick, tip your hat to Robles making some really good pitches there. But yeah, obviously we're looking for some contact uh, with the runner third and less than two out situation. Joe Treza, go ahead. Brandon, any consideration to letting Paul Fry start the 10th after he was so sharp in the ninth, or is he not more than one inning for you right now? Well, it was, but he it's back to back too. So I think if he didn't, if I didn't use him yesterday, I, I would have done that. Um, he just hasn't been a, a back to back multiple inning guy. Um, and with the role that Paul, we need Paul in right now too. I, I don't want to lose him for a couple days. And uh, so he did his job. He did his job, pitched a tie game, punches out three in the ninth inning. Um, you know, it's a tough situation there in the 10th, starting with a runner, runner at second base. Uh, for Plutt and the wild pitch kind of hurt, but then he got the punch out um, and then the solo homer. But yeah, there would have been a con more of a consideration if, if I hadn't pitched him yesterday.